was in a glow of season. Summer was dead, but autumn had not yet been born. But the ibis lit in the bleeding tree. The flower garden was stained. The brown, rotting magnolia petals and iron weeds grew rank amid the purple phlox. The five o'clocks by the chimney still marked time, but the oriole nest in the elm was untenanted and rocked back and forth like an empty cradle. The last graveyard flowers were blooming, and their smell drifted across the cotton field and through every room of our house, speaking softly the names of our dead. It's strange that all this is still so clear to me now that that summer had since fled and time had its way. A grindstone stands where the bleeding tree stood, just outside the kitchen door, and now if an oriole sings in the elm, its song seems to die up in the leaves, just like a silvery dust. But sometimes, like right now, as I sit in the cool, green, draped parlor, the grindstones begin to turn, and time, with all its changes, is ground away, and I remember Doodle. Doodle was just about the craziest brother I ever had. Of course he wasn't crazy crazy like old Miss Sweetie, who was in love with President Wilson and wrote him a letter every day, but he was a nice crazy, like someone you meet in your dreams. He was born when I was six, and from the outset, a disappointment. I don't care what they gotta say. You're my son and I know you can live. For now, I'll name you William Armstrong. If you can live to be three months old, might as well prove the doctor he was wrong. I thought myself pretty smart at many things like holding my breath, running, jumping, or climbing the vines of Old Woman Swamp. And I wanted more than anything else someone to box with and someone to perch on top of the fork of the great pine behind the barn. But across the fields, the swamp, you could see the sea. But Mama crying told me that even if William Armstrong lived, he would never do these things with me. He might not, she sobbed, even be all there. It was bad enough having an invalid brother, but having one who possibly was not there was unbearable. So I began to make plans to kill him by smothering him with a pillow. It was I who renamed him. When he crawled, he crawled backwards, as if he was in reverse and couldn't change gears. If you called him, he'd turn around as if he was going to another direction, then he'd back right up to you to be picked up. Crawling backward made him look like a doodle bug, so I began to call him Doodle. And in time, even Mama and Daddy thought it was a better name than William Armstrong. Yeah, renaming my brother was perhaps the kindest thing I ever did for him because nobody expects much from someone who was called Doodle. Although Doodle learned to crawl, he showed no signs of walking. But he wasn't idle. He talked so much that we all quit listening to what he said. You know what? I'm just gonna go out and like play with my friends. Don't worry, I'll be back for sundown. Take Doodle with you.
Yes, you are. If you don't touch that, I'm just gonna leave you. Please don't leave me, brother. <sighs> Why don't you touch it, and then I'll take you. Okay, fine. Yeah! Please don't leave me. I'm gonna teach you how to walk. I can't walk, brother. Who says so? Mama, the doctor, everybody. Whatever. Yes, you can. You can walk. Come on, I'm gonna show you how to walk. I was really excited that he could walk, so I began to make a lot of plans. I wrote schedules for us to go swimming, running, jogging, and all sorts of exercising events so he could help boost his self-esteem so he could do it well. And while I was there doing all this, Dudo sat in the corner, thinking, wondering if he can do it for real. different from everyone else in the class when school starts, do you? Does it make, make a difference? Of course it does. Come on. Mama, we're home. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's a great red bug. But what is it? Go get your father's book of birds. But what is it? Go get his book. Okay, 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 okay. It lives in the tropics, South America to Florida. The storm must have brought it here. Dead bird is bad luck, especially a red bird. Can I bury him? Come on, Doodle. Let's go finish lunch. I'm not hungry. I made you peach cobbler. But can I bury him? Come back inside when you're done. I laid there crying, sheltering my fallen scarlet ibis from the hearsay of the rain.
and the spaces between algebra. Morning to wake through the endless parade of rain. Kim, I'll see you next time. But when I close my eyes, the miles melt away. Like you're here in my arms at the end of the day. So bring me the night, send out the stars. Cause when I'm dreaming, we don't darken the sky and light up the moon. So that somehow you'll be here with me soon. Bring me the night. Bring me the Close my eyes, and only stay. The farthest you are is a heartbeat away. So bring me the night, send out the stars. Cause when I'm dreaming, we don't seem so far. Dark in the sky, and light up the moon. So that somehow you'll be here with me soon. Oh,